I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to move all zero to a start of an array using Java programming. So right here, this is example. Suppose that if I enter this values, so right here, two zeros are there. So after all doing this all coding, so right here, it's a display zero at first position. And here, this is the values. So right here, uh, let's so see the code. So right here, I've taken integer array type variable and this is the elements that I put at here. Now here after I've taken integer type, say empty value and here a double or length. So by using length function, it will count the total numbers of element or here. So here a double or dot length. So total numbers of elements at here 7, 7 minus 1, 6. And here after I apply this code, and here this is y. Now here after let's execute and check the output first. And here if you see the below here, I also used the second method to print 0 at first position. So right here you can see the output 0032485. Now here after I am going to explain this all codes. So this code that I pasted here. So I pasted here. Now here after if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that go inside. So at here I take an integer array type variable. And here this is all. So first I am going to create at here one array block. And here going to pass going to put the elements so at here 0 index 1 index 2 here 3 this position 4 and here 5 and here 6 so 5 6 now here after I'm going to store this all elements so first at here 0 position 3 next here after 0 at this position 4 here 0 and here 8 and here 5 now here after so at here there is a one variable I have taken CMT tab and here CMT is now 8 of our length so total number at here elements are 7, 7 minus 1, 6. So CNT value is now 6 at here. Now here after for loop, so at here integer i tab variable are taken. So at here this will count total length minus 1. So this value is now at here 7. So at here going to take i value at this place and here i value is now 7. And here after there is a one thing a r so suppose this is a r and here this is for i and here going to take one more array and here let's create the box so at a zero index here one two three four and here 5 and 6. Now here this suppose A R C N T C and T. Now here after the next is so and here if A double R I I position and here 3, 3 not equal to 0. So this condition is true, so that go inside. Okay, so at here A double R I position value that go to A to R C N T. So I position at here 3. Okay, this position at here 3 and uh, I must uh, 0 at 5. I value is now 7. Okay, A double R I value is now 7. 7 position. So at here first one more thing. Yeah, I value is now A double R dot length minus 1. 
So total numbers of elements are 7, 7 minus 1, 7 minus 1. So this i value is now 6. So at a i value is 6. So 8 of our 6 person not equal to 0. So 6 person 5, 5 not equal to 0. So this condition is true that coincide. So at here, 8 of our i person value that go to CNT. So i value is now 6 and here CNT value is 6. So both are 6, 6. So no any changes and here after CNT that decrease. CNT is 5 now. Now here after CNT decrease and I also decrease. So I is also 5. And here after here this value is now or length minus 1. So this value is now same minus 1. So this value is now at here 6. So at here and here after i greater than equal to 0 so here after that check and here oh, i value is now at here 5 5 greater than 0 condition is true so that coincides 8 over 5 person not equal to 0 so 5 person at here 8 8 not equal to 0 so that coincides so at here 8 over or 5 person i value 5 cnt also 5 so 5 person 8 is there so at here 6 person what 5 is there and here this is 5 person 8 is there so at here 8 over r i i value is now at here 5 cnt 5 so both are 5 no any changes here after cnt decrease cnt is 4 now here after cnt decrease here after i decrease so i is also 4 now here after that check 4 greater than 0 condition is true so 8 over r 4 person 4 person that 0 so 0 is there now here after if so 0 so 0 not equal to 0 condition is false so here after that not coincide here that curve that decrease the value of i so i is 3 now 3 greater than 0 condition is true so here 8 over r 3 person not equal to 0 4 not equal to 0 condition is true so 8 over i, I position, i is now 3. So 3 position at here 4. And here that go to 8 over our CNT. CNT is position 4. CNT value is now 4. So 8 over our 4 position. So this is now moved to 4th position. So this 4 comes to 8 over r of 4 position. Now here after condition is uh, true since after doing this, that in decrease the value of CNT. CNT 3 and here after that curve decrease the value of i. i is 2 now. Here after 2 greater than equal to 0, condition is 2. So 8 over 2 position not equal to 0. So at here 2 position, 8 over R 2 position. So this is at here 2 position. 0 not equal to 0. Again that condition is false that not gain side here i decrease so i is now 1 and here after 1 greater than 0 condition is true so here after 8 of r 1 position so 1 position 2 2 not equal to 0 so condition is at here 2 so 8 of r i i value is now 1 so 1 position value go to 8 of r cnt so 1 position at here this 1 position 2 2 go to at here cnt value is now 3 so 2 moves to this point now here after CNT minus minus, so CNT is now 2. Now here after that to go up, decrease the value of i. i is now 0. 0 equal to 0 condition is true. So that coincides so at here if 8 over r 0 not equal to 0. So 0 person 3, 3 not equal to 0 condition is true. So at here i value is now 0. So 8 over r 0 position value go to 8 over r CNT is true. So 0 position that go to at here this. 0 person value 3, 3 moves to add here. Now here after doing this, CNT decrease. CNT 1 and here go up and i decrease. i is now minus 1, minus 1 greater than 0 condition false. So this condition add here false. So here after not coincide. Here why CNT greater than equal to 0. So CNT is now 1, 1 greater than 0. Condition true here that coincide. So at here CNT is now 1. So 1 person that is still 0. CNT decrease. 
int is 0 now here that go while loop continue 0 equal to 0 condition to that add or 0 position that is to 0 so 0 position 0 here after cnt decrease cnt is now minus 1 that go minus 1 greater than 0 condition false so here that goes this position so add here i value is now I start from 0 and here 0 less than equal to 8 over r length so 8 over r add your total numbers of element 7 so add here this is 7 now 0 less than 7 condition is to that coincide so that print 8 over r 0 percent value 0 print here i increase so i is now 1 1 less than 7 condition is true so that coincides so 8 over r 1 person 0 print here after that increase i to 2 less than 7 condition is true so next time 2 person value that display here after i increase so i is 3 now 3 less than 7 condition is true so that print 8 over 3 person so like this 1 by 1 that r print so when the i value is now 7 7 less than 7 condition is not true so that out from for loop and next that out from mean math. So this the way we can add here print all zero at start and this all. Now there is just one more thing. Let's see the second method. So add here first I'm going to make that comment and here after I scroll down. And here let's uncomment that. Now if you execute to this code, run the file. So add here same number I used CNT here total numbers of element minus one. So CNT is now at this point six. So here you can see this is the output zero zero two three. So see at here uh, I print the value at its starting but at here this all values is now ascending order. So if you are using sort function, so sort function at here by using sort function if you put any 0 on there so 0 will come first and the value as in sorting form. So at here this is now here uh, cnt, cnt is now same minus 1 so at this position the value is at here 6. Now here after i value is start from 0 that count length so at here 8 over r dot length 7 0 less than 7 condition is true that coincide so at here 8 over r 0 position value go to 8 over r 7 so 3 3 go to 7 now here after 1 by 1 the value go and here after that to uh, oh, everything turn now here after that coincide so at here this way to at here sorting so sorting man so lowest number first and a lowest number that will come first and you have to go to higher but if you give at here like of minus one okay this is the minus one here now if i execute this code so here that will minus one that come first yeah that's the executing now here you can see minus one so if you want to get the zero first so you should not include any minus one value okay when you're not going to going to include minus one then you can get the right output but numbers come in ascending order so i think uh, this method is the suitable at here to print to uh, uh, 0 at the uh, first and next number last so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you